So people say that the best way to predict the future is to look carefully at the present. And that's exactly what I will be doing in this video. Tyson Fury against Tom Swartz, my prediction. So first of all, I'm Ross, this is Boxing Pills. I'm gonna bring you the best boxing news multiple times per week. So if you like boxing, please be sure to subscribe. And if you like the video, please hit the like button. That would help a lot. So back into the video. I mean, my prediction, Tyson Fury against Tom Swartz. I mean, everybody actually knows who Tyson Fury is, right? Now he got recently ranked as number one boxer in the world. You know, he fought Klitschko and he beat him. He fought Deontay Wilder and he got a draw with the best puncher in the heavyweight division. When Deontay Wilder punches you with his right hand, the Hammer of Thor was actually named. Everybody goes to sleep. Tyson Fury went to sleep and he got back up. So kudos to Tyson Fury. But I mean, the problem is who Tom Schwartz is. The truth is that Tom Schwartz is a guy that is actually part of Tyson Fury three fight deal with ESPN. This is actually the first fight out of three that Tyson Fury signed with ESPN for $80 million. And they didn't want Deontay Wilder first. They didn't want the rematch because they want to build Tyson Fury's name into the US. So they want to build with some side fights that fa people don't want to see too much. And the second or third fight is going to be against Deontay Wilder, okay? So they picked that Tom Schwartz. Tom Schwartz, good record like many, I have to say. 24-0, all victories. Fought mainly, if not only, in Germany. And, you know, values were knockouts or TKO. So, you know, you see, well, maybe this guy, yeah, this guy can be something. Maybe the, this guy can be the new Handy Ruiz, right? Ma. This guy actually never fought anyone at world level. Andy Ruiz got a draw with Joseph Parker. And lots of boxing fans said that he actually won against Joseph Parker. We cannot say the same for Tom Schwartz, right? I mean, if you look at his fight list, he didn't fight anyone at world level. And also... I mean, what I like about fighter is how they behave when they are having a hard time, right? And we have actually a record of a hard time of Tom Schwartz. Just look on YouTube, his fight against Gashi. He was clearly, clearly getting beaten pretty much every round against Gashi. I mean, Gashi is a guy that is 6-7 inches shorter than him, so Tom Schwartz was also having a significant reach advantage and despite that I mean the guy was outboxed completely and you know Gashi all respect for Gashi it's a great boxer but he's not the one at world level yet right and I mean this guy was getting destroyed so what he did because he didn't want to lose is that actually during Gashi's destruction during Gashi, Gashi punching power Gashi accidentally hit him with his head on his chin but you can watch the replay the head the hit was very very low very very mild and i mean the guy you know put on a oscar performance and simulated to be injured right i mean he just threw himself on the ground almost lifeless almost and you say okay if he's through this guy is never gonna get back up again right i mean it's just too much but then he got back up again and you know he was completely fine why because he understood that the referee wasn't going to disqualify that, right? He wasn't going to disqualify. And every time during the fight, you know, he tries to simulate injury or whatever. You know, he always goes the side way, the cheater way, you know. And eventually, Gashi gets disqualified. I honestly don't know why, because, I mean, for, to me, the fight looked clean. And one thing that everybody can agree on is that, you know, Gashi was winning on that fight. And actually, that guy didn't fight back. I mean, he looked for excuses, you know, okay, I'm gonna simulate getting injury so I can win the fight. Doesn't matter if I have done it fairly or not. And that's actually not the behavior that we expect from a fight at elite level, right? A fight at elite level, you lose, you lose, you just go on, you keep going. Like Joshua, I mean, Joshua never simulated injury or whatever against Truitz when he was about to lose, right? He kept going. And then the referee stopped. With this guy, I mean, this guy with Tyson Fury, let's face it, he's not going to be the new Andy Ruiz. He isn't going to be that. And the fight is going to depend entirely on Tyson Fury. 
what he wants to do, right? Because as far as I know, Tyson Fury doesn't have the reputation like Deontay Wilder to be a first round knockout artist. I don't believe that. I think Fury, it takes a while to get going. It takes a few rounds to get going. And I mean, his boxing style is such an orthodox style that he also likes to play with people. You know, he does fake move, feints, whatever it is. It's really unpredictable. So he just may get in there and, you know, end up in one or two rounds, which I don't believe. But I mean, to be honest, he's probably going to kick in around three or around round three or four. And it also depends on how much of an entertainment he wants to put for his fans, right? Because, of course, they pay and they want to see a bit of rounds. And I believe Tyson Fury is aware of that. So, to me, my prediction is, for sure, this guy is probably going to get knocked out. The problem is, at what round, and also thinking about it, I don't exclude that this guy is going to fake some injury. It's going to simulate some injury. I mean, he's going to do everything to put Tyson Fury on the corner mentally, to stress Tyson Fury. But, I mean, this isn't going to be enough. I mean, he's going to be at the mercy of Tyson Fury. And for me, what I do believe is that I would say around five to six round, and the knockout is going to be there. Yeah, around, around, no, around round five to six. So that's my prediction. But... I really wasn't happy by the way they picked up Tyson Fury's opponent. I mean, he deserves better. I don't like the guy. We don't like people who simulate injury. And what we look forward to is Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder rematch, should we? So, okay, let's look at this video in one, two or three days and let's check if I was right, okay? Please, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next video.